hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so guys on this channel we talk about everything skincare we talk about lifestyle we talk about vlogs and we talk about the whole lot on this channel basically everything about sociality yeah and mostly skincare so guys and we talk about hair care too so if it's your first time stopping by please do want to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to give thumbs up to this guys Trust me, you will enjoy watching videos on this channel, guys. And always tip that notification bell down below so you get notifications each time I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a whitening toner slash a whitening toner slash cleanser. This means if this product can be used as a toner or as a cleanser. Yes, guys, a lot of us have been using this toner, but we don't know how to use it, and we don't know. A lot of things that I'm going to share with you. So what is used to the end guys to get the real tips that I'm going to give you concerning this toner. It's a face toner, it's made for the face. And this toner comes in three big variants. It's the toner guys. Oh the new. So this is just one of the variants in which the this whitening uh, toner smash cleanser comes in. It comes in three forms. We have the green one. I'll just be inserting the other types because right now I don't have the other types to make here. I have just this type, this the black one available. But there are three types, it comes in three forms. Okay, guys, it comes in the green form, it comes in the pink form, and it comes in the dark brown, the dark brown form. Yeah. So guys, this this toner don't come in three forms just for nothing like it doesn't just come in three forms for, for color sake or for, or for just fantasy, you know. They say, yeah, you can use it as a toner, you can use it as a cleanser, you can use it as an exfoliant. There are so many ways in which you can use it, but people always have a problem with making a choice. Since this product comes in three variants. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make a choice of this. Which one to pick? Either the green one, the pink one, or the dark brown one. How to make it choice? And trust me, believe me, after this video, you are going to know which one to pick for your skin type. So, guys, this this special toner slash cleanser is really good. It's really good to fight um, special problems like acne, dark spots that someone has um, acne or oily face. Or dark spots and you want to dry out your face you want to like or you have uh, bumps on your face because you know this bumps people's bumps on your face you want to dry them out to consider getting this facial toner so how to use this toner guys so how to use the toner you can apply on the cutting pads and use it to clean your face either first thing in the morning last thing during the day before going to bed yeah and this toner how to make the choice on which of them to pick it's not just about going to the shop like give me a old one give you any one no or so, like just going to the shop and say oh this green one looks beautiful this uh, pink one looks beautiful and this dark one looks beautiful it's not about that guys first thing you should know is this uh, special toner for the is very safe because it is made from plant extracts. We all know products that are made from fruit extracts and plant extracts are really good for the skin. Yes. So this product is made from plant extracts and it's really good because it contains some acid that if you are not using it in the right way, it will not work properly or it will give you uh, to be too harsh on your skin. That is why I'm going to be talking about that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. How to make a choice on which one to use, on which type to put. So like I said it has three different colors. The green one, the pink one and the dark brown one. I can say that three because they are, there is mild, milder, mildest like one is strong another one is stronger another one is strongest to so know all about the color okay. yes. 
the reason for that. So, the mildest of all is for the day. The mildest among all is the green one. Yes. For what I found and for what is there about this product, I'm going to realize that the green one is the mildest of them all. The one that you have very, very sensitive skin, like your skin reacts to everything that you put on your skin. Like if you have very sensitive skin, and you're someone that your skin selects products a lot. Like each time you use any product, your skin easily reacts to it. This product easily burns your skin, for example. This product easily gives you um, a reaction, pimple, stop breakout and stuff. That's the one. That means you have sensitive skin. That's the one. not going for the green one. The green one, yeah. It's really mild. It's the mildest of them. The the green. If you are using another type, for example, you are using the green one and since it's for people that have very sensitive skin, that your skin literally reacts to everything you apply on the skin. You can start starting with the green one, like the mildest of them all. And if you are using the green one, it's not doing anything to your skin. You cannot see any results. Your skin is not changed, your skin is the same. All this product it's, it's supposed to brighten, lighten your skin when you're using it. Sometimes you, your skin might, first your skin will dry, I always start using the product, your skin will dry out. You might even see little places like that start killing, you know, some areas in your face you might start killing out gradually. Not like completely peeling out, like peeling naturally, you know, like just this white, white particle is scraping your fingertips. You might notice that your skin is peeling out. That means the product is working. Yeah. And you're not supposed to experience things like redness, your leg itching, or burning sensations in the face when you're using the products. So if you are someone that you, have, you don't yet know which one to use, maybe you should start with the green one because it's the mildest one. So from then you can upgrade to the next one which I will talk about. The second um, strongest of them all is the pink one. The pink is in the middle. The green is the mildest. The pink is the, the average, the mid, the smaller. Yeah. So the pink one is second in strength. So for those who have average skin, like you don't know if your skin is sensitive, you don't know if your, how your skin will react, you don't just know. When your skin is just sometimes oily, but not really that much, you know, but you're not so sensitive. If you want to talk about your skin sensitivity, you want to find it within your skin like the average sensitivity, you should consider going to the pink one. The is milder, it's average, it's milder. Or if you are using the, the green one, not really, I don't see any change in the face, it's not doing anything, you don't even know it's working or not, you can upgrade a little bit, go to the pink one, then you'll be able to tell the difference. Yeah, I believe if the green one is not doing anything to your skin and you try the pink one, obviously you'll be able to tell the difference, you know which one is better. The most, the tougher one, like the strongest of them all, one and a half here, the dark brown. If you are used the pink one, you say, you yeah, are somebody that you say, ah, this will not do anything to my skin. It doesn't work at all at all. Yeah, it's not taking the whole, the almighty dark brown one. This one has, it's the pop. You see, I always have it. I don't, I don't use it every day because my face is no more that bad that I need to use it every day. You know? I use it once in a while. Right now, I use it once in a while. I don't use it every day. I don't have too much face problems in it. But when my face, my face is full, if I tell you guys, the time I was doing school, I was staying with when I was having the real breakup. I'm sending a picture and you'll see. But when I finally decided to come to the black one, because I do not know which one to do. I'll the green one. Came to the pink one, I didn't even know which one to get. 
as you just blindly get they will be reason why people should be specific about a particular time when I got to realize that each past a couple of time they, that they are different strengths and when I try the other ones and they are not working so let me give a try to prove myself this one that I'm using to the dark brown the second time the second Anyone that has stubborn skin that is the best, guys. It's so good. It's so good. Yes, that is really good for the skin. It's advisable to use a face toner on the skin. It doesn't only balance your face the age, but any other thing is good. But if you have problem skin, problematic skin, you should consider getting poor because it has, aside from working as a donor, it has a whole lot of benefits. Can use it as an exfoliant because it will spread out dead cells from the skin. It doesn't just work superficially like that. It penetrates, it's strong. Like this one that is strongest. It penetrates, exfoliates your pores, it detoxifies your pores. That's the word, detoxify your pores and it leaves your face when you start seeing the sun, it's not going to provide this. If you are in a place that you are always exposed to the sun, it's advisable you use this toner only at night, evening when you are going to bed. It's not going to use it when you are going under the sun. For this trauma, for example, it's going to damage your skin. If you are using it and associating with the sun like that, you will not like it. It can give you even worse problem than when you are not using it. Why there's someone that is close up and burning my skin? If you are someone that you have just you have really sensitive skin, you have still be asked to pull up so much. Also, do not use this one. Like I said, if your face is really sensitive, you should use the green one. If you are confused, you don't know which one to start with, I would advise you to start with the green one, you upgrade to the pink one, then before you finally decide which one, it's not bad to try it all. If you already know that your skin is very sensitive, it's better you don't just try this one because this is really harsh. Something I added to my whitening lotion. If I make if I commit the whitening lotion, I can ask to add the quantity of this. It also helps to dilute your lotion, not to be too thick. Yes. Sometimes my lotion is very thick. I don't like it. I've already put all the serums, all the oils that I, I want from the lotion and it's still very the consistency is still very I can add the quantity of this uh, body that says really watch me just to dilute my cream. So guys, thank you for watching this video to the end and I believe someone has benefited from this video and will be able to make a choice henceforth on how to purchase and how to use all the oil. Yeah, you can apply on the cutting parts, move it between your face, mostly in the evening. Yeah, immediately after taking your bath. Yeah, but if you want to use it as a cleanser, you can use it and put the cutting part when you are wash washed your face. Clean your face, wait for some time before you have your bath. It's the advice for that too. That helps to intensify your pores and it leaves your, your pores to breathe. Allows your skin, your skin cells to breathe. Guys, right, thank you for watching this video to the end. Please don't forget to like this video and share it. Also leave a comment what you think. And if you want me to make any video, 